So I get a phone call mm. from Jesse David Fox. At okay. Home. Vulture from Vulture. From Vulture. Host of Good One. This was a sad call. He's weeping. He's crying. Vulture Fest is in trouble, he says. Mm. We have to cancel it unless you can save it. Mm -hmm. JDF, I say. Anything you ever wanted. <laughs> what can I do? You know that, and you know that. Please. Jesse. Anything. This guy's practically my best man. Yes. But you have to come here. You have to, you have to do it in Los Angeles. It's got to happen in L.A. I'm not going yes. to New York. Yuck. Yes. You have to put me up, obviously, like I live here, but I still mm -hmm. need to be like on site the night before. I'm going to need accommodations. Yeah. Yes. Should really be at the Roosevelt, I say. Yeah. Got to be outdoors. It's safer. So yes. build a stage. Yeah. Oh, and one more thing. You got to get me Titus. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Hollywood Handbook dives into Hollywood Homicide with Bosch, a coming together of two LA institutions. Thank you so much for being here today. Title came out fine. I wanted it to be longer. We, we went were back pitching and on forth. titles. We had a really, we had a really good long yes. title for it. Jesse said it wouldn't fit on Twitter. Yeah. So we had to get back in the lab. This one's fine. It doesn't tell the whole story, but yeah. The original title we suggested was, "Hey, I have an idea." Colon. <laughs> Let's put on a show, starring. Hollywood handbooks, Hayes and Sean, and of course their beloved fans, and they'll meet Bosch. And Bosch will be there, and Bosch will be there. Two different Boshes, parentheses. Yes. One Bosch is the TV show Bosch, one Bosch is the dog Bosch. That's a good idea. Um, so that was, the, that, was, that was the original title. Yeah. Um, it's our first live show in two years. Thank you. Thank you. We're not rusty. We have been training. Yeah. You probably already feel it. We're as sharp as we've ever been. Maybe sharper. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The entire time, just sharpening the axe. Um, so I, I do... I think we need to bring out the guest. I know we, you have like, no, we, we have to. We have to. We have to talk to you guys We forever. have to. No, it's actually good to bring the guest in. Yeah. Before he comes out, of course you clap for him. Of course. When we bring out the other Bosch, yeah, we don't want to scare this guy. He's an animal. Mm -hmm. So please do not clap or woohoo or laugh or anything to freak him out. And actually, especially for people who are listening to this as a podcast, if you could do us a favor and not laugh or clap for the rest of the show... Even though we're doing a good job and being funny, that would actually help just so the dog stays calm. So anybody hears it goes, hey, it sounds like they died. The audience didn't like it. It's actually out of respect for the dog. Yeah, that's for the best. Because he will bite everyone here. <laughs> He's insane. He will take his time with each one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the dog is He like shows you very your organs unwell. before you die. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he's a sick man. Yeah. Uh, he's been training as well throughout the pandemic. And yes. It's been pretty gruesome. Um, but anyway, uh, I'm very excited. We have here special a guy. guy. Very you special know man. him. You love him. He was in a lot of shows before this. He was on Lost. He is Bosch. He said in Gone Baby Gone, Amanda literally roasted. Mm -hmm. We all remember that scene. And uh, now he's here and he's going to help us. Win you over, <laughs> Titus Welliver. Titus Welliver. <laughs> so I want to. Okay, okay. I'm before sorry, we get into this, don't, before we get into please this, don't tear it up and throw it out. But before we get into this, <laughs> so the first bullet says sangu sandwich language. That's for the end. Sandwich. We talk about the sandwich language sandwich. at the very end. I know it's first, but it you see how it's written on their end. So we don't talk about that until the end, okay? And then under that is the key messaging. We are going to want to stay on point for this entire show. 
we, like Bosch, we have a job to do, and we do it well. Mm -hmm. And the job is to get through all of the key messaging. But don't rush. Don't rush. Go point by point. Go in order. Absolutely go in order. But take your time. Make it yours. Make it yours. I want you to feel comfortable. It should feel really natural. Is this thing on? Oh, it is. Oh, right. yeah. Cool. Titus, oh, the key yeah. messaging, it's a little bit, it's our sign that says get off your ass and knock on doors, huh? Yeah. That's life, man. That's life. Yeah. But what it says instead is the title of the spinoff, which premieres on IMDb TV, Amazon's premium free streaming service in 2022. And the title, of course, is... And this is big. We're announcing this title we're right the, now. We're the first people to have it. And the title is Return of the Son of Bosch. Yes. <laughs> the Revenge of Bosch. Mm -hmm. He's back. <laughs> is that... Am I missing something? Return of the Son of Bosch. I'm coming together of two L.A. institutions. Yes. Yeah. That's it. That's it. And that was all you, right? Like, that's your, that's your creative. You don't get involved in, you know, you let the writers do their work, but the title is it's that Titus. Was, yeah, the cherry on top. That was my call. We let, they let you put the star on top of the tree. They, Titus, that was actually a test to see if you would remain on the key messaging. I'm on it. I was on it, right? The title is Please Bosch don't clap or laugh fake. because I'll freak out and run off the stage. It will bite everyone. Titus will bite everyone here. <laughs> it's been known to happen. It was a fake title and none of you noticed. The title is Bosch Legacy. That's true. Bosch Legacy. I know. It, it sounds like a fucking vampire show. Yes. <laughs> uh, no, not really. I think it's good. Bosch colon Legacy. Bosch, co Bosch colon. Bosch colon Legacy. Yes. What would be that's a whole different colon. show? Yeah, yeah. Just visualizing it, it is something interesting. A colon with three dots. <laughs> you know, I think it should be in Braille. I mean, you know, but really get tricky. Accessibility, yes. Yeah. Very few titles are in Braille these days. That's, <laughs> I've, I've, that's I've, important. I have a sort of a joke. Bosch colon Bosch colon legacy. You could shoot the whole thing on a very small camera. <laughs> It's like a half joke. Yeah, please don't I'm, laugh. I'm going to bite somebody. <laughs> Titus, we want to bring out another guest in a second. Do we want to do that now? Let's get it out of the way because he's like got to be freaking uh, out. My yeah. fucking drama teacher or something like that. Is it? This is your life, Titus. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's the one who taught you to stay in the moment. I get scared. Yeah, I, I live too much in the moment. He's something of a drama teacher. He is bringing the drama everywhere he goes. Yeah, he's spilling the tea. Yeah. Um, this is a dog. This is Sean's dog. Sean's dog is famously named Bosch. People thought... What's going to get people out? to the, Like, live theater is in trouble. What's going to get people out to come see a live show? Why risk your health your family's health yes we need to give you a pretty good reason yes. it is seeing a dog for about 45 seconds yes <laughs> and seeing a man meet a dog who is named the same thing the as dog a character is the name of the character the man plays on the show yes i i mean is that not moving tickets i think it did <laughs> that's chaos theory man yes <laughs> So let's let's bring him out. We have Chef Kevin here with Bosch the dog. This is Bosch. Don't yeah. Please tennis clap. Tennis hey. clap. Thank you. Hey Bosch. Bosch. Okay. This is Bosch. Everyone's this being Bosch. very cool. Just Everyone's being just very casual. Don't look. At, don't look. Don't look. Look somewhere else. Look somewhere else. Be like talking to each other. Don't like act, act like this. Is, see, see how he's getting very nervous and distracted. Act like this isn't happening at all. See how mad he is. <laughs> oh my gosh! Look at this beast. He's freaking out. What a psycho. Okay, Bosh. Okay. Did you get your picture taken? Good boy. Yes. Okay. <laughs> all right. We okay. love you, Bosh. He get, can go. He can go. He can go. Magic, magic, magic in the heart of Hollywood. It's my show. Yes. Uh, That's a cool dog. <laughs> yeah. Now you can clap. Now, now you, you can, can clap. clap for the dog. That's the last one. You get one. Thank you so much. Uh, let's get back on the key messaging. Please. We're so far off the key messaging right now, I'm sick to my stomach. Bosch Legacy premieres on IMDb TV. That's the only one we have said.
Yes, Amazon's premium free streaming service in 2022. Where are we at on casting for that? Oh, how I, we doing? Like, I know where this is leading. Okay. How 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 um how we looking in terms of like a shameless you made, made like the big discovery like like where are we? Who's are you the in the like, room for those sessions? I'm in the, I'm in the room for those. Wow. Sessions. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. And your chemistry is something like this. You hope when you're in that room. Yeah. I, I don't. I don't. Well, I don't. I'm an observer. Okay. Well, well I like wear CIA spook in the room. Okay. Walk me through it, production-wise. Where are we at? Like, yeah. how much of this is in the can? Just ask your question. I know where this is leading. You, you got room for two more? Exactly. <laughs> because even people Always. are saying, like, oh, it's like fully wrapped. It's like shot out. Like we're done. We're talking to these IMDb people yeah. with suits, and they're going, "Well, we shot it all. It's all filmed. We have it all. You know, we spent a lot of money. We're already in editing." And I'm going. Let's talk to the real artists who know yes. if you find something like this, lightning in a bottle, I, know. I don't care what it costs. You go reshoot that yes. thing. Page yes. one, yes. rewrite yes. to get the boys in yeah. town. Yes. You know, there. I mean, sky's the limit. I say we do a post-production. You know, we, we just got to figure it out. We just got to right? figure it out. That's exactly what I told them. We That's just what I have said. to figure this out. Well, we will make we're, this happen. We will make this happen. Yeah. Yes, thank you. We're already on IMDb. Yeah. So to get to IMDb the TV, you literally yeah, just say that right the times really fast. I still struggle with that. I don't have to say it's actually bad to say the name of the network on the show. So yeah. that's the one thing I don't have to know how yeah. to say. Right. No, I think it takes people out of it. If I'm yes. on the show, and I will be, yeah. and I keep talking about how, like, hey, I was just watching IMDb TV last night. IMDb TV, IMDb TV, IMDb TV. <laughs> then I feel like people are going to start looking for the remote. You know yeah. what I mean? But if I'm saying like tough stuff, yeah. Yeah, baby. If I'm going like, yeah, unfortunately, I had to punch that guy. <laughs> now you're in the show. Now you're reaching for the remote to turn up the volume. Yeah, yeah, big time. Which is good. That's like that's very important for ratings now because like with streaming and stuff, it's different how they evaluate. And now it's how loud you watch it. Yeah, that people are really paying extra points. To. Yes, you get extra points for that. Well, and the residuals ain't bad either. Yeah. Well. We're not gonna have that conversation up here. Uh, you didn't get that's cut one of the, in. That's one of the, you didn't get the. You didn't. I don't get, get what you guys get. No. That's the key oh messaging. Actually, is, is talk about Titus's deal points. <laughs> what? <laughs> that, How much of the show? Son does of a he bitch! Own? You got that in there. Don't yeah, you? yeah, yeah. That's yeah. they wanted. Yeah, they wanted wow. to kind of walk through the contract. Yeah, yeah. I thought these people don't care, but no, they want yeah. They want a number on it. <laughs> <laughs> so the Titus, more you watch, the better you feel. <laughs> IMDb TV is available as a standalone app on many connected TVs and devices. Many. Yeah. Many, many. So, yeah. Computers, iPads, Kindles. Uh, yeah. You could keep listing. I mean, we're not going to make them list every device. It's yeah. many. Yeah. Including but, Fire TV, Roku, and mobile. Yeah, we'll keep listing them, obviously. Yeah, we're exactly. going to say them. Yeah. <laughs> this is In shameless addition, promotion. Both Prime and non-Prime members can watch IMDb TV programming for free through Prime Video. Talk about the show, What's Everything That Happens In It? You want me to give up the whole season? I would this... like you to do the theme song first, and yeah, we, scene by scene, no. we want you to walk through it. We yeah. don't have one yet. No theme Titus! Yet. We don't. And every, you know, we had the Caught a Ghost. Everybody loves that Bosch theme. Yeah. yeah. I've heard I, I've had people come up to me in airports, and it's their ringtone on their phone. Wow! Yeah. I have a suggestion. You know, uh, in how in Us, they did this kind of scary version of that old song of of I Got Five on it. Yeah. What about a scary version of Thrift Shop? <laughs> That'll work. Could that be cool? It goes like you know, it's a little bit do, creepy. Do 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 mm -hmm. do do. I'm gonna pop some tags. <laughs> you know, scary. With, I mean, does that get you ready for some wash or a what? Cold ass honky. <laughs> that's no. Yeah, no theme song yet, but that's an idea. Okay, okay. We just we just did it, but a tough to top, tough to yeah. top the boss. My bosses are here; they're taking notes. You never know. 
The show follows Harry Bosch after leaving the LAPD as a detective as he gets his state license as a private investigator. You see him studying, cracking the books. He's in the stacks. Big time. A lot yeah. of it is reading, I'm told. Yeah. <laughs> there's a lot of reading. No, there's a lot of... For some reason this season, I spent a lot of time on the telephone. Okay. Okay, yeah. Co COVID show. Uh, they, relatable. Uh, yeah. yeah. We're all on our phones. COVID production. Hey, instead of having people in the same room, yeah. people are mostly on the phone. They're talking people, on the phone. Right. Mm -hmm. And yeah. that's a whole, you know, that's an acting class unto itself. That can be pretty powerful. Phone acting. Talk about this. Give us a lesson. Please speak on phone acting. How do, how What's are we, the secret? How do you pretend to be hearing it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm schizophrenic. It's easy. <laughs> uh, you it's, just have to look interested. Okay. Right. But, look, can we yeah. see that? Can we see but, the sunglasses on? Can we do? Can we see that? Can we see interest? Pretend you're on the phone with me instead okay. of doing a live show. <laughs> okay. I'm taking a call. Okay. Bosh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Did he say when? <laughs> okay. Thanks. Wow. But, but here's the thing. Yeah. Here's the funny thing about it. Okay. There's a lot of cats on Twitter uh -huh. that are offended by the phone etiquette on our show. Wow. So nobody ever says goodbye. Yeah. You just hang up the phone. Mm -hmm. And I've actually got sucked into Twitter conversations with people about this shit. And I suddenly realized, I, I go, I, this is the most banal, ridiculous conversation I've ever had. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is a cop. Who's just on the move? Right. Yeah, just give me the facts. Okay, you got the lab report. Thanks. He says thank you. Sure. Yeah. He doesn't I heard say it. goodbye. I heard it. Hit my ear a little weird, actually. But it's kind of yeah. true. But in the new show, Bosch Legacy, <laughs> I made every attempt to say goodbye when yeah. I did a phone call. We're adding bye. We brought the goodbyes to the people. And I... Yeah, I've been brought to my knees by these people. In the, in the I, cuts I, I've seen, the buys get longer and lar longer. He, he started saying bye. Yeah. Bye. You say bye, you say, bye. You say bye first. Yes. I don't want to say bye. Yes. You say bye. bye. Well, no, just say it. Just say it. Bye. Mm -hmm. But if I could double back, you know, I, I know you're not necessarily a fan of the podcast, but in a way, you stumbled right into it, which is when you... When you do notice that you're having the most banal, ridiculous conversation of your life, mm -hmm. bring it live on the show. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's all we That's do. Real. That's, That's all we real. do. It's a Twitter argument with a, with a complete moron. <laughs> yes. And then we just take it to the people. We say, you be the judge. Well, you know, they judged and I broke. Yeah. I broke like I was in a leg trap, man. That doesn't feel good, man. That's not that's not the tightest I know. You changed. Uh, yeah. You used I to be out cracking skulls if people tried to yeah. tell you to say goodbye on the phone. No, yeah. No, I've just I've lost it. I've lost all my edge. I don't know what it is. It softens I think, you a little I think bit. COVID huh? beat me down. Yeah. Yeah. It's been a hard couple years. Yeah. Yeah. It's it, been hard. It beat me down. Yeah. Talking to myself too much. Yeah. Way too much time on social media. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you you have a fake account that you use to compliment yourself. Is that right? We all have it. It's fine. Everybody's got it. Yeah, yeah. You don't you don't maybe you don't use it as much as I do. Yeah, that's not that's not that's not one of the key messages. Mess oh, okay, you okay, 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 okay. That's right. I'll okay. say uh, I'll say this. You don't. Uh, just to be clear, you're not implying that the trolls on Twitter started COVID as a weaponized campaign to oh, make you wow. say goodbye on the show. A lot uh, of theories. I don't think that's a, a big reach. Theories out there. <laughs> yeah. You, that's making sense? Yeah. Trolls have a lot of power these days. They sure do. The, this key, season... to, the key to that shit, okay. which I love to do, <laughs> when people are like, you're a leftist Hollywood liberal. And I'm like, okay, uh, yeah. And I own firearms. Yeah. Is... Would you like to see one? I don't even respond. <laughs> yeah, would you here's like a, to here's see Here's a photo yeah, here's of a all of them. Come to my fucking house, baby. <laughs> Come to the wrong house at the wrong time. <laughs> um, it's just to block them yeah. Yeah. and not say anything. Mm. They go ape shit. And then what they do is they jump onto a friend's account. Yeah. They hey, think, there's been some They think mistake. they'll get me that way. Yeah. yeah. And then I block that person. And then that person ends up 
circuitously trying to get a message to me to my say, "My friend was on That's my couch. boy. He's a dick. I'm really sorry. I don't buy. You know, I don't share his opinions. But please, please don't block me. It's fun. And then that one's Too blocked. Late. And I'm like, and then ding. Yeah. everyone gets blocked. Everyone. And then finally, it's just you alone on an island. Yeah, and I got no followers. That's what it's going to be. That's the dream, man. Titus Welliver, zero followers. <laughs> this season. Ringing my sad little bell in the universe. Just like me. You are working with one time enemy, hotshot attorney, money chandler, casting there, any recasting conversations? Like, where are we at with, uh, with that role? Obviously, we might want to go a, a, a tiny bit younger, maybe. Maybe it's two people two instead guys. of just one lawyer. Like, like a, yeah, a, two two men. Yeah, a, a blonde blonde haired guy from Brockton. Yeah, two like two guys who could kind of be brothers. Like, isn't that yeah. what we need? Or, right or now? a lumberjack from like East Haven. Mm-hmm. East Haven lumberjack. Just what we need, <laughs> I think, in the national conversation is instead of this woman powerful lawyer, how about two tall straight white guys, <laughs> both from. You know, kind of nice background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just finally getting their voice heard on television. Yeah. Could this, that be good? That could be good. That's the next meeting. I think since we're going to open it all up, why not kind of? Yeah. Yeah. Let's let's, let's open back, it all yeah, up. back to the lab. Yeah, we are starting from scratch on this. Oh uh, yeah. But um, then you have to. You would have to arm wrestle Mimi Rogers. And she's one of the toughest yeah. broads in Hollywood. I'll sure. tell you that. Yeah. She will whip your ass. Okay. She is tough. I would love I that. won't show up. You would, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I would. Yeah, you, you, I would pay appreciate a good deal of money to get so their ass much. whipped by Mimi Rice. Yes. <laughs> uh, you have a daughter in real life, and on the, you have multiple daughters, and you have a daughter on the show as well. Yep. Mm -hmm. But you think he should have a son. Two sons. That. Uh, I don't even. God, one, is that your that, idea? That's wow, your idea. it looks I'm like picturing yeah. that. Jesus, I was going to say the Seymour Cassell look-alike yeah. and Frank Serpico. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, are we fucking kidding? Y young, I get young it, guys. Seymour. I yeah. get it. Not young Seymour, but like no, but I, you know, you've gotten that before. Oh yeah, all the time. I mean, you can't walk down the damn street out here without saying Seymour, Seymour. <laughs> Are you kidding me? People don't even know who John Cassavetes is anymore. It's a Can sad, you believe that? Sad, it's making yeah. me sick. Jeez. Yeah. They're like, Paw Patrol. Yeah. Get the fuck out. Get out All of here, Paw Patrol. Zoomers in their Paw Patrol. Paw Patrol. Okay, well, Sit down and watch A Woman Under the Influence. Yeah. Just turn off Paw Patrol and put on The Killing of a Chinese Bookie. <laughs> the long version. I love these guys, by the way. I'm so happy nice. to be here. Yes. Thank you. Uh, that father-daughter relationship so it's not working for you. No. Well, well, well let's look, talk look, about it. Let's yeah, let's talk it. about All it. Right. There, yeah. There's a lot of speculation, obviously, about Maddie's future and what you know, what path she's going to take. And we have some ideas. Maybe you can tell us how Harry Bosch would react if she started a podcast. Would that be cool? No. Let me you give went like that? I, I, he's not a podcast kind of guy. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, let me give you this. Call a lot. She comes. She's, she would watch and listen to your shit and dig it. But. Well, because it's jazz. Or Michael yeah, Connolly. Because yeah, this is jazz. Or the, murder, or the murder book, you know, sure. Michael mm -hmm. Connolly's murder podcast. Mm -hmm. Harry would dig on that. But what I'm giving you is a scenario where Maddie comes home. She's stressed. She's upset. She needs fatherly advice she says dad i'm supposed to do an ad for a special instagram serial this week they require a personal testimonial but they forgot to send me the free box of their product do i lie and say it was yummy like this is stakes this is drama that's a four-page scene right there mm -hmm. yeah yeah I, I, what's harry, the advice well you know harry he's righteous he'd be like no honey you can't do it if you don't have, if you haven't tasted or sampled this product, you got to tell the truth and just say, "I can't put my face to something that I haven't tried." Wow! Whoa! Yeah, that's a quarter yeah, page. Yeah, pays seventy-five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's still, still okay. Mm, okay. Nah, he's just too, you know. Harry's, he's straight as a die. 
Yeah, okay, so you're not loving the stuff we're pitching for Maddie. You know, forget Maddie. There's too much baggage there. Let's say you're my dad. <laughs> Can you tell me you're proud of me? <laughs> I am so proud of you. I love your show. Wow, you listen. And I love what you've wow. done wow. with your life. <laughs> I love how you represent this family. Oh, my God. You're my favorite child. And I hate the neighbor's children. Thank I you, hate Daddy. all children in the world but you. You're the only child I love. That's all I ever wanted to hear That's from all you. you're getting out of me. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. That's cheaper than therapy. Should we, we have some clips. Should we yeah. get into some clips? We have some clips from the, the, the clips that we've seen before on the show. We right? have some, yeah. So we have, we got three clips we're going to play. Got anything new? Well, we have something we're new. We're saving something we're saving new that. for the end. Yes. Uh, teaser. Okay. Yeah. And here's, where, and here's where I do my job. When we're doing the new thing, if I see you with your phone out recording the exclusive new clip, I'm going to sick both boshes on you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, don't do That's that. That's sacred. Yeah, don't do that. Because they'll, they'll confiscate your phone. But during the this old stuff? It's worse than Disney. <laughs> During seen, the old stuff, some of these characters dressed in dark clothing, wearing shades. Uh, that one right there. Yep. Yes. <laughs> That's the one. I know that dude. Yes. Yeah. We served time in San Quentin together, <laughs> and he is a cold stone killer and a phone grabber. Mm -hmm. He's known as the phone collector. He's known as the phone collector. <laughs> yeah. You like Jean Renault, the professional? <laughs> He's the phone collector. He wasn't even, and he, and he, he wasn't made, even convicted of anything. He broke into prison because he heard there he was just a wanted, in there. Yeah, he just wanted to just roll in prison for yeah. a bit. Seems so like he, my kind of guys. Yeah. So we'll play some clips, and um, we can just kind of pitch on it. We can yeah. find some of the mistakes that were made. Never too late to punch version. it up, right? There's a, a lot of casting stuff that I'm sure you're going to talk about. Huge casting issues that might come up. Yeah. Uh, but it's just, just stuff like, that feels false, you know yes. what I mean? But as we are, that's my daily battle with these uh -huh. people. Right. Yeah. This first, wouldn't, Bo yes. wouldn't Bosch be hanging out with Hayes at Shad? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. let's but let's watch the clips and see because some All of right. this I think works. Judge some for yourself. Of it does there's work. some great stuff in there, and and, yes. and there's a lot to work on, which is why we do it. Yeah. So um, yeah, I mean, can we watch a clip? See the first clip. Can we watch a clip? Can please? we see it? You heard the name La Mayarista? Sounds like a gastrointestinal ailment, like La Turista. How about Melinda Morales? Refresh my memory? 75-year-old grandmother you're trying to evict. Drugs were being dealt out of her apartment. Not by her. Her grandson, who doesn't even live there. LAPD arrested him on the property. Okay, so mission accomplished, which is why you brought in the new manager. To clean up the building, yes. So why evict the old lady? Violated her lease. We don't tolerate excessive tenant interaction with law enforcement. Cash 22. Your manager calls the LAPD about the dealers. LAPD comes and talks to your tenants. You evict them for talking to LAPD. Only when it becomes a nuisance. Then we invoke the nuisance clause. You know, I gotta say, call me crazy. But one might get the impression that you're trying to push your tenants out. We're making our buildings safer. For everyone. Including locked fire doors and dead 10-year-old girls? No one feels worse about this tragedy than we do. So, a lot of great stuff. Some stuff we liked. You're kind of doing a downer, right? Yeah, what you said to her was also very disrespectful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In her office, kind of weird to In go her, into her office. office and yeah. That's what Harry does. Yeah. That way, it was about like 120 degrees. That was in a real building, not a set. Hmm. And it was. So unbearably hot. Okay. Throw on a beanie. When it's hot out, you what you do? You throw on a nice hot winter hat. <laughs> <laughs> so if I was a little irritable in that scene, mm -hmm. yeah, it's because I was uncomfortable. I I have a lot of notes on the location. Uh, everyone does seem very kind of like out of sorts. I think it's because nobody's eating. Yeah. People need lunch. These yeah. people need lunch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about the scene takes place at nice white tablecloth restaurant, like 
uh, you do all these like amazing locations on the show. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Tom Colicchio's craft in Century City. Every one of your interrogations that becomes Bosch's like signature thing. He's got like the corner booth, and it's like that's where Bosch is holding witness do that interviews. Now. Yeah, yes. he's a detective, so he could just say, "Meet me there." Meet me yeah. there. Yes. But then he takes a long time deciding what to order. Yeah. He's had everything. Always ends up with the Jadori chicken. Mm-hmm. And the iceberg wedge. Yes. Oh, the big and the big. Cut me a nice big wedge, please. Yeah, yeah. And they know big. they know to do a huge they know. wedge. He's yeah. a wedge guy. Whatever it's the wedge hemisphere. normally is, double the wedge. Yes. <laughs> Actually, let's have it be like a semicircle at this point. <laughs> um, I'll say let's talk about the writing. Yeah. We have a very, very funny gastrointestinal disease joke at the top. Why don't we live in that? And just you guys riff on other names of gastrointestinal diseases for eight or nine minutes on the yeah, show. Yeah. Like and then we judge. don't have to get all this crime stuff, which I, it's good, it's mm-hmm. good, it's nice, but we've kind of seen that. But what I haven't seen is you guys just sit and try to one up each other with the names yes. of stomach diseases. Yes, because I know that happened on set, you yeah. know? And if we bring Judd in on this, which I think we should. <laughs> Judd lets that roll, roll, yeah. roll, and then that becomes the whole the whole thing I think you're right and you cut the rest of the stuff this stuff is like a dead kid or something like it's yeah, just yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. that's awful, not what I want to think nobody about. wants to talk about that awful awful I yeah. don't want to look yeah the yeah. fire part was honestly very scary and I almost got underneath the table yeah so it's like as you're talking about that I'm going like I'm not gonna watch TV from under the table I'd rather watch it on my couch comfortably while you guys talk about like shitting and farting disease right right exactly yeah exactly that's you know that's TV. And hopefully that's IMDb TV. Right. You said that very slowly. You, yeah, I'm, you I'm trying to fill that. time. <laughs> <You're, yeah. laughs> Should we do another clip? Do we have another clip to, to show that we can dig in on? Not, I'm not asking you, not asking you, asking the people who are actually in charge of this project today. Uh, if, if we have one, like, yeah, let's, let's play it. If you, you have told it. me back then that you believed, if not in a better world at least in the possibility of justice in this one. I remember. Do you still? Believe in the possibility of justice? In this world, for Sonia Hernandez. Jury's still out. Wow. Whoa. (laughs) So if you, um, okay. If you don't believe in the possibility of justice in this world, or if you haven't decided, why are you using a jury to decide whether you believe in the possibility of justice? I fucking knew that was coming. (laughs) You telegraphed that one, man. That was low-hanging fruit, but you got me. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I know. It's just... um... I love it. I just, it doesn't make any sense. And I'm wondering if that's a problem for the show. Yeah. (laughs) Um, I think, you know, so in terms of watching that, it was fun. Again, a little bit of a downer. Yeah. For the spinoff to lighten it up. And I know a lot of it's in the can, but whatever. What if it's... And I'm not even going to pitch that we're involved. What if instead of all this, like, I'm finding the killer and I'm doing, you know, and everybody's getting hurt. We call it Bosch Pointo. Mm. It's you. You're watching fail videos. Skateboarder falls down, hurts himself. Yeah. And you got a million dollar smirk and kind of go like, uh, that wasn't a good idea, chief. <laughs> and then we're just on to the next one. We'll save yes. a ton of dough. Yes. Maybe sometimes you do, I'm looking for the right word for it, some kind of internet redemption. For people who've had videos go poorly. That's an oxymoron alone. Well, yeah. You can say that. You can say that. Yeah, you can say that on the show. That's actually... Kevin, write that down. That would be a good Bosch point oh, like piece of patter for you to have leading up to just another video. you know. And then we're not like thinking about whether justice exists. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get a headache. Yeah. You saw the, the gentleman up there. You said, my man. That's Alan Rosenberg, who's one of the great actors of, of many generations. Yes, for mm-hmm. Alan. And he... Uh, Clapping for Alan. Oh, no, no. He's actually... 
it, it's interesting. Don't clap for Alan. Hey, he, take uh, it easy with the Alan claps. Yes. We're not. He makes sure a few yet. appearances in the new show. Okay. Because He's back. We established that relationship, and it's kind of, you know, when you see this, Harry's very much at sea. So we brought Alan back in to kind of, and it, it, it's some good stuff. New theme song idea. We're bringing Alan back. This yeah. guy really knows how to act. Take it to the Bosch. Yeah, but like a scary, like a slow it's version. Scary. It's that much scarier than really that. Scary. Yeah, yeah, it's got to be scary. Slow it way down. It's yeah. like a monster's voice, yeah. 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 Maybe yeah. It's a picture of Frankenstein. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just so people know that it's a scary show. Um, I got another way to possibly lighten up the show. Nosh with Bosch. Mm. Instead of going to solve crimes, we just go to Tom Colicchio's craft. Yes. Okay. Foodie seen, culture, this is so big now. It's and so important. Bosch is always going out eating like a, like a tortilla on the hood of a car yeah. and stuff. But the like, restaurant industry is suffering. Yes. And we could actually do some good here. Have you seen somebody feed Phil? Well, the notoriously reclusive creator of Everybody Loves Raymond got in front of the camera in order to help restaurants. Yes. And I don't know why you couldn't do the same thing, but instead of Phil, it's Bosch. Bosch Nosh, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you've got three cameras. You've got the over the shoulder like here, but also the one going straight yes. down drone. on the table. You have a drone hovering right over the table. It's loud. <laughs> But imagine it's flipping you a little bit with its. With but it's coming out of the kitchen, so you're there for the food prep. And yes. You follow out like a kind of a Goodfellas thing. Yes. You get it to the tape. Look, people are going to get hurt by the drone. There's going to be some bumps along the way. Look, it that's, happens. You know what? Suck it up, cupcake. That's modern yes. production. Like, that's going to happen. It's so. going to fall into the food. You just have to keep going. You have to eat the drone. It shouldn't be in the kitchen. Yeah, yeah. but it's going to be in the kitchen. Have you ever messed going. around with a drone before? Those okay. things are scary. Yeah, every uh, every I'm now and then. Telling tales out of out school out of here, but yeah, I yeah, messed around with a drone yeah. once or twice. You got me. That's a yeah. firm no. Is it that obvious? Yeah. No, no I know how a drone works. Yeah. <laughs> Long yeah. weekend, I'll lie to my wife and yeah. say I'm going to. Yeah, visit me and my the guys were going something. fishing. Yeah. Nope. I'm drone with a drone. <laughs> I am with a drone messing around. <laughs> me a drone, a hotel room, and a bottle of wine. <laughs> That's a weekend. Uh, do you got something? Do we get all the key messaging? I, well, I'm looking at the key messaging. Yeah. I'm feeling we're approaching like we the, we're approaching so the sandwich language. Much of it. We're close to sandwich language. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, well. All right. Let's talk about. So Bosch has a partner. Mm. I have a partner. Hmm. The dynamics of partnership in podcasting and police work is pretty similar, isn't it? We inspire each other in a way, don't we? Yeah. Does it ever feel like when you're doing the show, like, <laughs> me and Jay Edgar are just being Hayes and Sean right now? Kind of, yeah. I and know, we feel the same thing. We go, oh, yeah. I go, that was total Jay Edgar what you did. And he said, yeah, I know, Bosh. Because we're doing it, too. Yeah. But let's just... Potential scenario for the new show you've got a big witness interview scheduled your partner makes you reschedule it three or four times to accommodate what he's got going on mm -hmm. then when you show up you're stuck making small talk with the witness for like 25 minutes while your partner is Jay not Edgar's there late. Yeah. and not answering texts he forgot and Jay Edgar's the one who like knows the witness guest yeah so it's pretty uncomfortable what might Bosch do to kind of let J. Edgar know, hey, man, that really wasn't okay with me? I, I think that sums it up. I think he would say... Uh, he just says it? You left me out there. He wouldn't create And I'm hurt. Show? Yeah, okay. Yeah. He, so he okay, literally well, now, tells him. Now J. Edgar's crying. Uh, you actually didn't know that he's got a lot going on, and yeah. you didn't even think to ask. Okay, now so, Bosch is backpedaling. Yeah. Bosch is in trouble here. So yeah. what he's got to say is, oh, actually, I, you know, I, I overreacted. It's actually good that you were so late. <laughs> I learned something here today. Yeah. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay. That's big. 
This is gonna. It's a teaching help. moment. That's really. It's big. gonna help for the show. audience. Too. Well, we try to do that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There has to be a moral to the tale. Teaching moment. There's also it's a lot cool. of text there are, back. There are a lot of Easter eggs in there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about Easter eggs for a minute. Okay. How, what from this panel should I be keeping an eye out for in the show? You might just see Harry wearing a snazzy flannel shirt. Okay. And some desert boots. Oh, wow. I'm just One, saying. One's untied? One's untied. Cool. That's a thing. Yeah. That, That's a thing uh, these days. Yeah, you better believe it's I a thing. I see a lot of... Yeah, a lot of you kids. A lot of us zoomers. Yeah, we're going around. We're keeping one shoe. And the shirts tied. untucked. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. actually very young as well. I, I, and 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 it's funny. Somebody must have tied this for me. One of the IMDb TV employees didn't realize that I'm actually quite young. So yeah, I'm going one untied. It's yeah. normal. It's normal for me. You're too old for the Velcro sneakers. Let's face it. Yeah. I'm old, yeah, for the we're actually, but I'm too young to have like both shoes tied. Like, yeah, give me a break. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy lame. talk. We're big boys. Yeah, that's the thing. We have a really exciting announcement. Ready? As fans know, Bosch is all about the LA hotspots when it comes to food. So we're excited to share that we have sandwiches, courtesy of IMDb TV, for everyone to grab on the way out. From Uncle Polly's Deli. True story. Uh, True. Italian cold cut. Caprese. That's it. Don't come up to me after you. I want a meatball sub. Then go to Uncle Polly's Deli and order one. They're excellent. But this is free, so it's, it's Caprese. It tastes better. Yes. We also have four minutes that's it the first four minutes right we have four minutes of the new show that you guys are going to get to be the first people to ever lay their eyes on it yes it's not that good but no theme okay okay and no theme song so a lot of it will just be silent it's just people's names kind of like yes. credit scroll yes, yes. Um, maybe some overhead footage of L.A. Maybe drone it's footage, cool. huh? Yeah. It's really cool. Bring yeah. me back to my wild We're excited weekend. for you to see it. Thank you so much for being here. Can we thank Titus, please, for everything? Thanks for coming. All your claps out. This is for everything. This is your only chance to so thank Titus. Thank you, IMDb TV. Thank you, Vulture. Vulture Fest. Thank huh? you, Vulture Fest. Is this your first Fest. Vulture Fest? Yes. Wow. You'll be back. I I'll be back. First of many. Yeah. He's hooked. We got the hook in him. Yeah. Well, I want to thank you guys for having me because this is uh, wasn't our, a lot of we, fun. Like, I, uh, you guys are well, of course we would have. wasn't our decision, but of course we would have. Uh, but yes. You're a little too serious for my taste. This, I thought okay. we were going to be a little bit you more lighthearted. Dig in. Yeah, yeah. You wanna, you're, we're like... Talking about the show, giving a lot of information, and yeah. you're like looking to just. Well, I'm kind looking of party. to improve my brand because people think I'm serious, and so I'm trying to be lighthearted. And you guys were just so serious. Yeah. Did it, you know favor? Did you leave the props back there? I'm sorry about that. Yeah. Uh, it's just not that kind of. It's an maybe audio show. Maybe next time show we just is... we just maybe we lighten it up a little bit. Yeah, we yeah. do the props. No, okay. let's get another yeah. one on the books, and yeah. for that one, I'm gonna be a little silly. <laughs> so that, yeah. Sponsored by MedMen. Yes. Perfect. Yes. We'll do the weed show next time. Yes. We, we forgot to talk about weed. Cheech and Chong. Oh, yes. yes. We'll do never that. gets old. Yes. Stoner yes. humor never gets old. Yes. Oh, yeah. And yes. it's funny to people who aren't stoned. That's what's so good about it's it. It's actually funnier yeah. to people that aren't stoned. Yeah. It's better for them. Yeah. Yeah. But I digress. Thank you again for being here today. Watch the show. Have a good time. Stay cool. We love you.